Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video, I'm just going to uh, have a quick look at the tablet PC user experience on Windows 8, or in Windows 8. I've seen lots of people show it off the desktop and touch features, but I've not seen a lot of talk about the tablet PC, so I thought I'd show that off here. So, uh, this is my old uh, HP 2710 tablet. I've left it in convertible mode just so that uh, it's easier than me holding the screen but I'll show you what it looks like in landscape uh, in a moment so to uh, to log in as with the other um, as with the mouse you can just slide up like that let me log in so straight away you get the the metro start screen and it took me a while to realize this but um, if you're in full tablet mode obviously there's no start button so if you were using a mouse you would just click down here and you get the start menu. Now that isn't possible on here um, but what you have got is this pen interface where you can slide in from the side here and you've got the start menu. So I can slide in from the side go to search and so on. So you have got that way of getting back to the start menu you know, using that and you can also, and this works most of the time, flick between applications now you see you can't do it from the Windows desktop if you're in a Metro app it does seem to work so I just load up Internet Explorer there's two ways you can launch the the interface you can uh, pull down from the top or you can right click so if I pull down there you see I've got the, the tabs to choose and the, and, the, and the navigation bar at the bottom uh, and if I wanted to flick back to another app I can just flick sideways but you see once see it works most of the time I can then now flick between those. Uh, so the you can't you don't I haven't got sort of kinetic scrolling on the the the, the pen. The pen works as as it always has done in its highlighter, but you have got the flicks. Uh, so I can scroll up and scroll down using the pen flicks. Which actually does work pretty well. So I can go back to the start menu. Uh, let's have a look at uh, input, the input device. So, let's say I wanted to go to a website. Now I put this in split. So this is the split keyboard. Let me change that back to the full keyboard. So actually, uh, typing and searching from there is really easy. I mean, I've got the keyboard open and I'm using the pen, but <laughs> if you're in a full slate mode, you see what I mean. <laughs> so launching apps, uh, or, launch, or just using the, the keyboard is really easy. And unlike the other tablet PC where it, it kind of floated and docked and whatever, I like this. It takes up the screen as you need it, and then when you finish with it, it disappears. You have got, like I showed you before, you've got the split, or you have got the hand rec handwriting reckoning. So I'm going to test the one fe nice feature which is the suggested word and probably it's easy to, the easiest way for me to do this is to bring up WordPad uh, so if I bring the keyboard up WordPad as it brings you back to the desktop because it's a desktop right, so now we've got WordPad up let's test um, the pen recognition Right. There you go, that's worked uh, pretty well and I've got the option of docking that as well. Uh, in case you haven't seen the other videos, we've, we've still got the standard uh, Windows desktop on there and the keyboard I can have it floating, I can I can move it around. I think um for tablet PC users I'll, this is gonna be a pretty good nice little keyboard on there. Now one thing I did find was when I was doing some typing in the Metro UI and I it did bring up the the words as I was typing and I think you've got to be in uh landscape 
I think you've got to be in portrait for that to work, so let's have a look at that. So we're in portrait now. I'm going to go to Internet Explorer and start typing. And you see now, I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring the camera on it. You can see how it's. Oh. Let me try that again. It's bringing up the words as I'm typing. You can see there, or you can click on that. Now, it only seems to work in uh, portrait mode and when I'm in the metro. You can see it bringing up the words there. So that's a nice feature, and uh, I was trying to type out an email yesterday, and uh, that was quite a nice way of working. So here we can see it in, you can see that in portrait view and we can still move out between the apps as we did before we can go into IE I can, I can still bring down the tabs I guess you get quite a nice browsing experience on the on the full screen in Metro okay so that's everything I want to show you just using the tablet pen interface and uh, in Windows 8 anybody who's interested this is a HP 27 10 tablet PC, it's one of my old ones, I've took this to CS many times. It's got 2 gig of RAM and it performs pretty well actually. It's, it was a pretty bit of a slow machine but now it's working really well. So thanks for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one, bye.